Hey guys, we have a new member here at our TFL team, and her name is Alex. Hey guys. So as you know, all of us here at TFL are big automotive enthusiasts, and most of us love driving stick shift cars, but I came to find out that Alex actually doesn't know how to drive a stick. And so today we are gonna remedy that by teaching her on my Pontiac Vibe GT. All right, Alex, well, I know you've already been here for a few months, but I wanna give you an official on-screen welcome to the TFL Classics channel. Thank welcome. you, thank welcome. you, appreciate it. And today, I wanna to teach you at least the basics of how to drive stick. Now, <laughs> you can learn how to drive stick in about an hour. It takes a lot longer to actually get really good at driving a stick shift. It takes probably owning one and driving it regularly to get good at it. But I think today we can get the basics covered to have it so that you can hop in a car and maybe get yourself down the road in a pinch if you really need it to. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna give you the basics here. We're gonna assume that you know absolutely nothing about driving a stick so that way you guys can also learn along with her. And so I'm gonna teach you some of the differences between an auto and a stick. So in an auto, you have two pedals down there that you operate with solely your right foot generally, right? Today, you're going to be using both of your feet, but you still use your right foot for the gas and the brake. The only thing that I want you doing today with your left foot is the clutch. Anything, people will tell you that you can do some, you know, more things later on down the road, but for the simplicity of it, and to start, we're just gonna have you operating the clutch with your left foot today. And this is your stick. So rather than just, you know, reverse drive a neutral, you have six gears here as well as a reverse gear. So right now it is in first. And then the other thing to note is that you have an e-brake. So I know in an automatic, you probably won't use your e-brake too much, but in a clutch it, or in a stick shift car, it's kind of nice to have because you can just throw it in neutral, pull your e-brake and you won't go anywhere, but you can leave the car running if you feel the need to. So first things first, get yourself adjusted to where you are most comfortable. And the best way to do that is I would say, take your left foot and try and depress that clutch all the way to the floor. And that is where you want your seat scooted forward where that's possible. Oh, Lord. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep, I'm gonna pull the e-brake up since we're doing the clutch right now, just to make sure we don't roll away. Okay, I think that's good. So you got it? I think so. Are you so. comfortable with where you're sitting? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. I guess, you know, it'd probably be helpful if you had the keys, <laughs> That's right? That's my next question. Yeah. <laughs> How do we start the car? <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the key. It's just your traditional key. I'll put it in there for you. But to start the car, since it's in gear, let's do this before starting it. Let's put it in neutral. So the way that I always like to think of it, right? You have an automatic that you can put in neutral anytime you want, really, right? This, every time you depress that clutch, you're essentially putting it in neutral. And think of it this way. The, the car doesn't like to go into and out of gears without being in neutral. So anytime you wanna change gears, you wanna depress that clutch, essentially putting it in neutral. Okay. But there's another way that you can put it in neutral without using, or without having the clutch depressed. So it starts by pushing that clutch, that furthest left pedal there, and then you pull this back. And you see how it's just kind of in the middle here and you can kind of wiggle it around? Yeah. That tells you it's in neutral. So now you can pull that clutch out and if it were running, it won't stall on you, it won't die because neutral. it's in neutral, Okay. right? Okay. So let's go ahead and start the car. And the best way to do that is to press that clutch again. Press the clutch. And I've already got the e-brake pulled for you so you don't have to worry about putting your foot on the brake. Okay. And just turn the key on. Our wipers on there. You Is gotta get that clutch all the way to the floor. I thought it was. There you go. Oh, well, maybe I need to move my seat up. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, move it to where you can get that clutch okay. all the way to the floor. Should I press the brake? No, I've got the e brake on oh, for you. Okay, so do I. So you're not gonna go anywhere. Do I release the clutch? You can, because we're in neutral. Okay. See? All right. So it won't stall out. Okay. So before we start moving, 
I want you to get kind of a feel for it. So now keep in mind, I've got the e-brake on, so we're not gonna roll anywhere. Okay. So you don't have to worry about the brake. You don't have to worry about the gas right now. Okay. Let's just figure out how to get you into gear. So it's a little hot in here. So it I'm is gonna, hot, yeah. I'm gonna roll down the window just a little bit. So to get it in the first, you depress that clutch again, and then you move this over and up, and that's in first. You wanna try? Okay, over and up. Yep, and now let's assume you've gotten to a decent speed and you want to shift a second. You depress that clutch again oh. and you pull straight down. Straight down. Okay. And then let the clutch out and now you're in second. But you see the car died? That's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. That's because we left it in gear Okay. while the car was running. So, it's, that's fine. You're going to kill this thing <laughs> probably more than once. So it's okay. I wanted you to kill it. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> go ahead and turn the key off. Oh, you have to turn it off? Yep, turn okay. it off. And now depress the clutch. Clutch. And then turn it back on. Now keep in mind you're in gear. Okay. So soon, if you were to release that clutch, it will die again. But if you put it in neutral and then let the clutch out. That's neutral, okay. It won't die. All right. Because it's in neutral. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. We'll cool. see. <laughs> now, now is probably the hardest part is getting moving. Now you see that tachometer there on your left? Yes. Where it's got numbers one through I think eight or nine. Yep. So generally when you're in gear, you want to keep your RPMs, which that's what that's telling you, above 1000, above the one mark. Okay. If you go below that, you're generally probably gonna stall the car. So it's okay if you go below that. All you wanna do then is just put in your clutch. So okay. you don't stall. So to start off, put in the clutch, put your car in first. Yep. And now put your foot on the brake because I'm gonna take the e-brake off. Okay. Now you wanna give it just a little bit of revs. So you want the revs for now to be between the one and the two. So I'm taking my foot off the brake. If you're taking your foot off the brake and simultaneously pressing the gas just a little bit to get it the RPMs between the one and the two. Oh, that was a lot. Do I take yep. my foot off the clutch? No, leave the clutch in for now. Okay. So a little bit, so get a feel for that gas pedal. So get, get those RPMs hovering right around the one to two mark. Okay. Very, very sensitive. Yep, it is. It's it's kind of a hot hatch, so it, it does have a sensitive throttle pedal for sure. All right. So now that you've got your RPMs there, slowly let out the clutch. Don't do it all at once. Just slowly let out the clutch. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. I think I did that way too fast. Wait, you now did that I'm... really good, actually. Ah! Oh, I'm my impressed. God. Look Wait, at that. what do I do now? Do You're I just keep going? Just keep going. Just do some circles around the parking lot. Do I let go of the clutch? Yeah, let the clutch all the way out. Okay. You're in gear now, so you can drive. Okay. Now, for today's purposes, you want to try and keep the RPMs below, let's let's put you at a cap of 4,000. Okay. So you see that tachometer there? So anytime you're getting your RPMs above 4,000, I want you to shift to the next gear. Okay. Or if you think you're going to go above 4,000. You can do it sooner than that if you want to, but... I just want you to see, it's fairly easy. Now that you've got it in first gear and you're driving around, it's kind of just like an automatic, like any other car. Yeah. Right? Pretty, pretty, yeah. So let's do that again. Let's see if you could do it one more time. So let's come, put in the clutch and come to a stop. So clutch and then brake? Yep. Okay, cool. All right. Ooh. Yep. Okay. And now let's see if you can do it. And remember, we're, we've got the end of the parking lot there. So when you start going, kind of go way. to the left a little bit. But yeah, do the same thing again. Just get those RPMs between the one and the two. And then slowly let out that clutch. You'll feel a moment where that clutch will grab. You kind of feel it there? Oh, yeah, where yeah, Where it yeah. starts to get going and moving. Yeah. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. I can't tell you how many times I stalled my car the first time I was learning how to drive stick and the fact that you just nailed it two times in a row is pretty impressive. I feel like you're giving very good direction oh, so, so I feel like I can kind of understand what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. 
So that makes sense, right? So now that you're moving around, you don't need to touch the clutch or anything, but if those RPMs start to dip below a thousand, then you just want to push that clutch in again so you don't stall it out. Okay, that, that's simple. But even if you stall it out, it's okay. You just turn it off, put the clutch in, and turn it back on again. Okay. No need to stress. No need. This is a lot, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> you want to do it one more time before we hit the road? We're not going on the street. Oh, yes. Let's no, do it. No, no, no. You can no, do no, it. No. I have all the confidence in you. You are... Oh, no way. <laughs> yes. You, I have all the confidence. You are doing so well at this. No You're cutting yourself too short. freaking way, dude. Yes. You can do it. I believe in you. I, I like this parking lot. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, tell you what. Give me give me one more start, and then we'll see if you can shift a second before we go to the street. That's what I... How does that sound? Ooh, that was fast. So I get yourself like... to a spot to where it's easy for you to start again. Okay, so what do I do again? I press the brake. So you push the clutch in. Clutch goes in. Yep, and then you put the brake on. Put brake, okay. All right. All right. And it's still in gear, so again, just get those RPMs to between one and 2,000, and then slowly let out that clutch. All right, so we're gonna let go of the brake. Whoa, ooh, ooh. Ah, okay, all right, whoa. There you go. Ah. You've got three times in a row I, you didn't stall it. I, there's no way I'm going on a public road. <laughs> with the, I can't even get past first gear. <laughs> well, let's get you past first gear first. So set up towards the back of the lot here where you have a lot of space. Okay. okay? way like this okay there we go and now push in that clutch and come to a stop clutch and stop okay yep and right. i'd say just make sure to point that oh, way so yeah. you don't hit the curb but yeah, yeah so what we're gonna do is as soon clutch. as this car reaches i'm gonna have you accelerate fairly briskly don't like floor it or anything no. but as soon as this car reaches 3,000 RPM, so as soon as it reaches the three on the tachometer, I'm gonna want you to put in the clutch again and pull it straight down okay. to get into second gear. Okay. And then you're gonna do the same thing as when you started, slowly let that clutch out to that point to where it grabs and then you'll be in second gear. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> it's easier when you are when you do it, you'll see, you'll see. Okay. Yeah. So okay. start just the same way you did before. So take your foot off the brake and give it a little bit of gas clutch. and then slowly let off that clutch. Oh, slowly let off the clutch. We're still in first. There you go. So now give it a little more gas yeah. and get up to 3,000 RPMs. Am I supposed to put the clutch down? There you go. Down? Now ah, put the clutch in. Wait, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's get turned around. Just keep driving at first. <laughs> so we have a little more room for you. There's oh nothing to be God. scared of. It's okay. I'm scared. <laughs> I already forgot what to do. All right. All right, we're gonna turn around. Yep, Three facing thousand. this way. Yep, and give, then... it a, give it a bunch of gas. All right, now push the clutch in. Ooh, that was a lot of gas. And then pull down. Down. Oh, oh wait. you weren't quite in. Put oh, the clutch in. Clutch and, come and to a stop. Okay. So, what you did, and it's okay, you put it in neutral. Oh, crap. Yeah, so, go ahead and put that clutch in while leaving the brake on. Okay. Is it in? Yeah. Okay. So go into first, and I want you to practice coming straight down into second till it won't go back any further. Oh, I see, okay. There you go. That makes sense, all right, cool. Okay, so let's <sighs> get ourselves turned around again. So it's the same thing with giving it a little bit of gas and letting that clutch out slowly. Oh, I see, okay, okay. Oh, gas, okay, gas. Let's get you pointed somewhere where you've got lots of space. Let me go down. <laughs> you wanted to take me on a public road. <laughs> Crazy. That's okay. It, it, honestly, like, nuts. when I was that learning, I killed it multiple times. So you're doing way better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna turn around. Let's come to a stop. Stop. Uh, clutch. Yep, Wait, always clutch. do clutch first. And then break, okay. And then break when you're coming to a stop. Oh, okay. So, now remember, you're gonna give a little bit of gas. Okay, gas. You're gonna slowly let the clutch out until it grabs. 
You're gonna get those RPMs at least up to 3,000. Anything over 3,000 is okay. Okay. And then you're going to put the clutch in again while taking your foot off the gas, pulling it down into second like you just did before. Okay. And then letting the clutch out again while giving it gas again. Okay. Just like you were starting, but this time you're gonna be in second gear. Got it. Got it. Off the clutch. No, off the oh, brake. Off the brake. Yep. And then gas. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Did I stall it? Almost. Oh, God. Almost. You just let out the clutch a little too fast. Oh, okay. Yep. That's all that was. Let me, like, go around there. Yeah. Be more comfortable. Ooh. Okay, just don't. All right, okay. now on this straight, I want you to give it some gas and get it up to 3,000 RPM. Okay, Off the gas, clutch in, uh, down, and then let the clutch out with giving it a little bit of gas. Uh, and now you're in second. Okay, how do I get back to first? Clutch? Well, to get back to first, you don't want to, you generally don't want to put it back in the first while you're driving. Oh, um, did first I do is it your low gear, But I think you, you either did that or you put it in third. So to come to a stop, just put the clutch in. Oh, it's clutch. Yep, and then brake. Brake. There you go. Now let's see if you were in third or first. Oh yeah, you were in third. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's no That's no problem. Oh, okay. Honestly. So, so, look at that. You went from first, second, and third. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. You're already <laughs> jumping steps. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, that's because first generally has a little bit of a lockout once you reach a certain speed. Because if you put it in first, it's going to be like very jerky and kind of hard on the transmission. So that's why you generally only want to put it in the first when, you're, when you've come to a complete stop. Oh. Um, but putting in the third, totally fine. Okay. No problem. Um, so, you want to give it a shot again? Sure. Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. So clutch in. Clutch is in. Foot off the brake. Foot off the brake. Give it a little bit of gas. Gas. No, oh, you want to put it in first gear because you're in neutral first. still. First. A little bit of gas. Oh, got something in my eye. And then let out that clutch slowly. Okay. There you go. So you got this starting thing down. The starting is easy, but then I have to shift gears and yeah. uh, then I really get scared. <laughs> Nothing to be. It's just like it's just like starting. Starting is actually the hard part. Shifting gears is the easier part. All right, so get yourself up to speed. Ooh, this Here. Is gas. Okay. <laughs> Clutch. Clutch in, and you want to let off the gas. Oh wait, I, what am I doing? <laughs> so, so you never left first. So let's get turned around again. Okay. So generally, you want to let off the gas and clutch in at the same time. Okay. Off gas. Clutch in. All right. Yep. Because you don't want to have the throttle pedal pressed while you're shifting gears because it's just going to rev to nowhere, if that makes sense. You're just going to be like revving your car while you're in neutral. Okay. Parking lot for a little bit now. Yep. I think you're starting to get the hang of it. Can you take us back to the no, office? No, absolutely not. <laughs> no shot. No shot. I can't. I, I think I would literally have an actual breakdown. <laughs> you're I not going to have a breakdown no, because I if anything happens... <laughs> Just know it's okay. No, I don't want it to. You're learning. <laughs> you're going to get you, I, Alex, you're going to get us back to the office. No, I'm not. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. No, I really can't. You've been can. driving for a long time. I really This don't is just adding one little aspect to it. Oh That's my all. God. No, I don't think I could do it. How the heck? I, I already forget what to do. <laughs> okay. So you've got the clutch in. Let's try it one more time going through all the way up to fifth. So just leave the clutch in while you're doing it. And I want you to go first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. All, right. All with the clutch in. Clutch is in. Yep. First, second, third. Yep. Fourth. And then all the way to fifth. the right is fifth. That's it. You see how you can kind of feel, feel them a little bit? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so. Let's go ahead and get moving in first. Okay, I'm gonna get moving in first. So clutch in. Clutch is in. You wanna put it in first. Oh, first. Just a little bit of gas and slowly let that clutch out. Okay. Ooh, uh. That's okay. Okay. Now, all the way to the end of the parking lot, you can just leave it in first if you want. 
Okay. <laughs> or you can practice going into second one more time if you'd like to. Um, I, all right. Should we just go on the road? Let's we? do it. Yeah. Now you see that you're when you're coming up to that stop, remember, clutch off the gas, goes in, and then clutch it. And then I push the brake. Yes. So off the gas. Off gas. Clutch in. Clutch is in. Brake. And then you go to the brake. Cool. Okay. Now no one is coming. You've okay. got free rein to turn <laughs> left. And you do the same thing. So a little bit of gas. And it's we're on a little bit of a hill. So what you need to do in that instance is just give it a tiny little bit more throttle as you let that clutch out. All right. All right, wait for this car to go. Off the brake. Okay. There you go. Oh my God, this is so, so All right, now tripping. off the gas. Off the gas. Clutch in. Wait, clutch, clutch in. in. And down to second. Second. And now you're in second. Let off that clutch. Oh, there we go, okay. And give it some gas. So now you're driving around in second. And now, off the gas again. Off the gas again. Clutch in. Clutch up to third. Up to third. Now clutch out. Clutch out. Oh, that now was, you're in third. That was third. That was so smooth. That was smooth. You're good at this. <laughs> I didn't say that, but we're, we're going to... You're we're... doing so well. <laughs> I'm impressed. I really am impressed. You're doing so well. Um, yeah, I'm nervous. So, so, so around this turn, you could probably just leave it in third, honestly, okay. and just enjoy the... Uh, the, the twisties, the road. Okay. But you'll see that we're gonna have that sharp right with a stop coming up, right? Mm-hmm. So before you hit that sharp right, I would shift it down in the second, like maybe right around where that truck is right now. Okay. I would shift it down in the second. And do I put my clutch in? I put my clutch. So you take in. your foot off the gas. Off the gas. And then the clutch in. Down. And down to second. And let the clutch out. You see how that kind of helps slow you down a little bit? Yeah. And now you can brake a little bit. I am braking. Okay. Now we're going to come to a stop, so you want to put, put the my clutch, clutch in. in. Okay, clutch is in. And brake. Yep. Wow, that was pretty... Oh my god. You can just leave it in second and roll to a start. Um, there you go. Uh, okay, here we go. Because we didn't have to come to a complete stop there. Don't mind me, truck. Don't mind me. So now to get back to the office, you will want to get into the right lane, so... Accelerate ahead and get ahead of that truck. There we go. Now you want to go into third. So off the gas, clutch in. And up to third. Up to let in the clutch. Or let out the clutch. The clutch. Okay. My hands are sweating. So that's okay. Now let's go to fourth. Fourth? So, yep. <laughs> off okay. the gas. Off the gas. Clutch in. Clutch in. Straight down. Straight down. Got it. Off the clutch, now, off, give it the gas. Clutch give it some gas. Okay. You're in the fourth. Wow. Look at that. Woohoo. You're doing so well. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's make this right here. So now to slow down, let's get you into second gear. Oh, so second. off the gas, clutch in. Clutch in. What am I Go doing? Go to neutral, so push up. And now all the way over to the left and down. All the way to the left and down. Now you're in clutch. Er, there you go. I think our GoPro overheated again. That's okay. We still got this one rolling. So sorry for everybody watching. She's learning, but we got GoPro failures here. So you're still in second. You're doing well. Okay. Doing well. Am I doing okay? Okay. We're good. Yeah. I just got to make it into the, the area of the office and yeah. then we're fine. <laughs> yeah. You can just leave it in second here while you make this right. But you will have to come to a complete stop. We're on camera, we can't break any any laws here, so we have to come to a stop. <laughs> <laughs> so clutch in. Oh, clutch in, I forgot yep, about clutch that. In. Clutch in. And come to a stop, now you want to put it in first. Is that first? Yeah. Oh, it looks like first, okay. Clutch out slowly, gas. Oh, oh you killed it! I killed it! That's okay! It. <laughs> so what do you do when you kill it? You turn the key off. Key off. Clutch in. Clutch in. Turn it on. Do I put my brake down? Yes. Okay. Sorry. No, you're fine. Clutch. All the way down. There you go. Okay. So you're still in first. Still in so first. So just go take it slowly, a okay. little bit of gas, let that clutch out slowly. Oh crap. We got I a little little more gas there. than that. That's okay. So turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody kills it. It's a rite uh, of passage. Congratulations. You've hey, I made it now. this far. Yeah. Holy right. crap. Okay. So a little more gas. While letting that clutch out. 
<laughs> oh no, 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 no. There no, you no, go, no, you okay. saved it. You I see? saved it, okay. Now, off the gas and clutch in. Clutch in. Shift a second. S oh, wrong clutch, second. There we go. Gas, okay. There you go. All right, Brendan, we made it back to the office in one piece. Thank you so much for being so patient and a great teacher. I know the basics of how to drive a stick shift. Am I good at it? No, but we made it back to the office in one piece and that's, I'm pretty proud of that. Definitely gonna go and practice a lot more. And <laughs> yeah, we got some improvements to do, but thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. See ya, bye.